Chicken fricassee is a classic French dish. It screams comfort and simplicity. Delicious chicken thighs browned in a pan, cooked with mushrooms and onions and then braised till fork tender. Finished with cream to make a rich sauce. But will this mildly flavoured classic French dish appeal to the Indian palate? Watch till the end to find out. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, it's no secret that I love chicken and eat it almost every single day. Which is why today we're making a French classic dish called chicken fricassee. It is a delicious chicken cooked in a mushroom and onion sauce and it's creamy and I can't wait to tuck into that dish. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. We're going to start by chopping our mushrooms. Just regular white mushrooms will do. Cut them into quarters for this recipe. And once that's done, it's time to season our chicken. I'm using boneless chicken thighs with skin on and I'm going to season it on both sides with salt and pepper. And then I give it a light dusting with some plain flour. I cast iron on the stove and add some oil to that along with some butter. This stops the butter from burning. Once it's hot, lay those chicken thighs skin side down and just let them get a good sear. At least 3 to 4 minutes on that one side. Then flip them over and look at that golden brown crust. A thing of beauty my friends. Now remove them from the pan and set them aside. I had one extra thigh which didn't fit in the first time so I had to sear that off separately on both sides of course and then remove it from the pan. In goes some sliced onion next followed by mushrooms and then I saute that for about 2 minutes. I add in some minced garlic next, a bay leaf and some dried thyme. Give it all a good mix and then add in some plain flour. Cook for a minute before deglazing with some white wine. After that I add some chicken stock, mine is salted and that's why I haven't seasoned anything before this. Now add the chicken back in along with any resting juices and then cover and cook for about 15 minutes. Once that's done I remove the chicken from the pan. I also remove the extra large bay leaf. I give it a good mix before finishing it with some heavy cream, mix it all in and taste. I add some cracked black pepper and some fresh parsley and then the chicken pieces go back in and finish with some more parsley. And that is our chicken fricassee done and ready. It looks so good and of course you gotta spoon that sauce over the chicken. Oh yeah, B-roll food porn footage for the win. I plate up that chicken with some bread but you can serve it along with some mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower, white rice, cauliflower rice, whatever you like. Now I gotta cut into that chicken and just look at that cross section. That is delicious but anyway enough jibber jabber, time to properly taste this. Are you familiar with French food? A little bit yes, I actually studied in France. In a way yes, like not very traditional French food I would say. Not much. Actually, although I have been to France. Not really, but I'm happy to explore. <laughs> have you ever eaten a chicken fricassee? I have not eaten chicken fricassee actually. No, I haven't. No, never, definitely not. It looks delicious. <laughs> it's like a very subtle, like you can taste the chicken, you can taste the mushrooms and you can taste the, the cream. So, I like that it's simple. This is damn tasty. I mean, the chicken's very tender, obviously, it's thighs, but it's so lovely. The skin really adds to the flavor. Perfect dish, perfectly spiced. I like it. Tastes good. It's quite soft, like the rice as well. What would you rate this dish on a scale of 1 to 10? I'd probably give 8, 8 and a half. Maybe a 6.57. That's a good rating, by the way. I would give it 8.5. I would personally rate it 5.7. I'm in general a spicy person, ah. so that's why. And that, my friends, is what Indians think of the French dish chicken fricassee. It's time for me to taste it now and tell you what I think. Mm. This is the taste of my childhood. This is the kind of food I grew up on. 90s continental restaurants in Bombay, anyone? I love this. It's my perfect chicken and rice lunch. And I'm going to make it more often now. So this gets the thumbs up from me at least. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe and do click that like button, subscribe button, all those social media things that you do on videos that you like. Anyway, that's been enough jibber jabber from me. I'll see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and here on the YouTube channel memberships. You are all awesome. And if you'd like to support me, the links are in the video description box just below this video. Anyway, 
Take care.